Let's add one more piece of geometry. Let's add a circle somewhere in here. And I'll just place a small circle and I'd like this to be tangent. This tangent to this line, this line and this line. Now we could actually use the circle. We could modify this whole piece of geometry just with this circle. See how you can move that around? So the size of the circle adjusts the whole sketch. Now let's go and look at a couple of other things. I'm going to turn off my relationship handles and under sketching, I've been under the home command, I'll look under sketching. If I go up here to fill, this is cross hatching. So I pick on the fill button and I'd like to cross hatch some of this geometry. Now you see this looks really heavy with the lines. They're very close. And so I could hit Let's hit undo and do that again. I'll go back to fill and I say the spacing's too close. So I'll change that to say 10. And then I'll leave the angle at 45. And let's just type that in there. And you see how the cross hatching's much bigger now. Now let's make some other alterations here. Say I'd like the fill solid color to be yellow. And let's make this uh, orange. So see now the line cross hatches are orange and the color is yellow. So lots of things you can do here. Let's go and change the angle to zero and reverse this. We'll change this color to purple and modify the cross hatch. So the lines are purple. Let's change this around. So this is purple and the lines are purple. So it looks like a solid color of purple. Now remember we've been controlling this geometry with these constraints. We could also use dimensions to do that. I could just go out and grab the line. And if I wanted this to be 100, we just change the number to 100. And if we wanted this to be equal and make it a cube square, I want this line to equal that. Now it's 100 by 100.